Aquarius and Aquarius rising and moon sign. Welcome to your August 18th full moon reading. My name is Dudumkar and you can reach me for a private reading at dudumkar23 at gmail.com. You can pay through PayPal and I'd be happy to meet you on Skype. Um, you can also donate to make these videos better through Patreon. Thank you so much for joining me. Now on to your August 18th full moon 2016 reading. We invoke the planetary energies of Aquarius, Saturn, its original ruler, and Uranus during this time of great change. For the ascension, for the transformation, we invoke the Egyptian god Happy and his two streams, which provide us the Milky Way, which provide us the Fount of Knowledge, Ooh. the Fount of Knowledge, and we ask you to guide us, Aquarius things, pepper, apples, kumquat, starfruit, caramola, all aquarium, seabirds and eagles, grandfather eagle, grandfather sky. We ask you now, that is you, and this is what crosses you. This is on your mind. This is in your recent past. This is in your latter past. This is in your future. This is your relationship to others and their influence upon you. This is your inner environment. These are your inner feelings in the situation. This is your final result. What is our secret meaning for this reading? Aquarius? Let's see. Ace of Clubs. Go for the gusto. These clubs in this deck is read as Creation, beginning, invention, the start of an undertaking, fortune, enterprise, gain, inheritance, the birth of a child, beginning of a meaningful experience, an adventure, an escapade. So congratulations, you've entered a new phase in your life, Aquarius, and you're ready to head out that door and start on the most amazing journey of your life. Where are you now? You are the King of Cups. It's an amazing, masculine, assertive force, but nurturing, kind. Ace of Cups, great abundance, fulfillment, perfection, joy, fertility, opulence, productiveness, beauty and pleasure, goodness overflowing, and a favorable outlook. So you are content. Come what may, you are feeling content. But what is crossing your path? This Five of Swords reversed is what's crossing your path. And that Five of Swords reversed. Is uncertain outlook, the chance of loss or defeat, weakness, possible misfortune befalling a friend, seduction, and burial. So you're very concerned about things that are either black or white in your future right now. And above you, in your head, is the falling tower, so that's not helping either. You've got worries, Aquarius, right now. You're probably keeping them close to your chest, but they're there. The falling tower, the imperial crown, falls from the tower along with gold coins, crosses, and other religious objects. And a man and a woman, symbolizing the fall of the Russian Empire in 1917. Well, we all know we are going through an ascension and a transformational shift now. 
and in your head you have complete and sudden change, a breakdown of old beliefs, abandonment of your past relationships. That doesn't necessarily mean you're abandoning those people, you're abandoning the way you perceive those relationships in the past. Severing of a friendship, the changing of one's opinion, unexpected events, bankruptcy, downfall, the loss of stability, and the loss of security. Well, those are always valid fears, but they are in your head and not in your physicality. So, in your past, you had the Three of Cups reversed. And this is a lack of emotional feeling from these ladies. Um, too many women in the kitchen, one could say. Three of Cups reversed is excessive pleasures, overabundance, superfluity, loss of prestige, delays, and a lack of appreciation. So you went through quite a bit of downfall, quite a bit of loss of who you felt you were, what you felt you'd earned. What is in your distant past is the reverse of the Seven of Coins, I'm sorry to say. And this is an apprenticeship, um, a long period of learning, of dedication, of uh, um, pursuit of knowledge and a craft, and one would think you would be reaping those rewards, but in the reverse it is impatience, uneasiness, imprudent actions, and a loss of money with unwise investments. So if you've been waiting for the perfect job, if you've been waiting for the perfect partner, the waiting is over, and now you must just proceed in your own way, with your own truth. This is the way to go about things now. Um, and so your future hopes, wishes, plans, and influences. Ace of Cups is presented to you. And the Ace of Cups is great abundance, fulfillment, perfection, joy, fertility, opulence, productiveness, beauty and pleasure, goodness overflowing, and a favorable outlook. So keep the faith, Aquarians. It is on the horizon. You have been brave, and it is right there, ready to take action, almost at your door. Okay, so how are people affecting you? How is external events affecting you? How are they affecting you? How are you affecting others? It is the lovers reversed. And with the lovers reversed, it is a major arcana card. A couple is dressed in traditional pleasant clothes. The white kid and lamb symbolized innocence and a purity of feeling. Um, mountains and tree intertwined as with a serpent signify possible difficulties. Above a six-winged cherub, the six-winged cherub I always read is a seraphim with a flaming sword ready to cut away excess. Now, um, you knew that you possibly were going down the primrose path with someone. You possibly knew that those jobs or those positions or those friendships were not right for you at the time, but there was nothing you felt you could do about it. Where are you now? Your environment is the fool. Right there at the beginning of the tarot. In the environment, the fool skips along, cheering himself with a rattle he holds in his right hand. He is a skomoroch, a wandering cloud, clown of medieval Russia. In his left hand is a puppet in his image. Bells tied to his waist and feet announce his approach. He looks towards the right edge of the card into the future. The mountains show that hardship lies ahead. Its meaning is thoughtlessness, folly, extravagance, lack of discipline, immaturity, irrationality, insecurity, frivolity, delirium, frenzy, enthusiasm, naivety. So you may, <laughs> you may have accomplished all of these things. You may have worked very hard. You may have put down roots and come a long way in your journey to become the King of Cups in control of your own emotions and your own destiny. However, that doesn't mean that life has gotten any easier on the external uh, side of things. And um, you are now uh, facing living perhaps more poorly than you're accustomed to living like a college student. No offense to college students. 
but um, you have suffered in some ways. You knew that it would be a setback, but you didn't know how long it would last. How are your emotions holding up? A Nine of Cups. You cannot ask for better emotions right now through all of this. It doesn't matter that your environment might be unsuitable um, or that you have made bad decisions, had an indecision, um, or, or that uh, you rushed into a lot of stuff, enthusiasm, uh, naivety, just hoping for the best, a frenzy of action, um, and maybe even a little extravagance, hoping for the best thrown in, um, your lack of discipline, but where has this gotten you in your feelings? in how you are now. It's gotten you to the Nine of Cups. Success, material attainment, advantage, well-being, abundance, good health, difficulty surmounted. So I would keep up with the fool if I were you. So far it's been pretty good. All you have to do is keep a light attitude, keep positive affirmations, positive intentions in your world, in your visualizations right now and all will be well. Um, you could not hope for better abundance internally. Just share that with the world and you're sitting pretty. Your final outcome is a reverse of the Ten of Coins. And the reverse of the Ten of Coins is bad odds, possible loss, hazard, robbery, loss of inheritance, dissipation, and gambling. But do you know the other side of this coin of this um, is that gambling is often referred to as entertainment. It's often referred to as um, just uh, having a light attitude, having um, some fun with things, having Standing in your truth, in your creative power, in your own self, self um, and take that risk right now. Take that risk because you have this Ace of Coin Clubs right here. This is your result that you can take the initiative, take up that club, step through that door and um, you will no longer have to worry about any sort of craziness outside your door because your inner world is your outer world as above so below microcosm and macrocosm and within you you have the ability to shift entire worlds to your will to your future and i see nothing but abundance for you if you recapture your sense of fun, recapture your sense of wonder, your your sense of enjoyment. You don't necessarily have to have a business partner to succeed. You don't necessarily have to be monogamous to be in love. So uh, that's what I have for you. As you know, Aquarius, um, there are no limits. There are no limits to what you can accomplish. Um, sometimes the world needs frivolity also. Sometimes the world just needs an outpouring of love and fun and good things and blessings. And that's what I have for you, Aquarius. So, all good things. Namaste. Satnam. And God bless. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Dunham Carr. If you want to reach me, you can reach me at dunhamcar23 at gmail.com. And we can set up a Skype, and you can pay me through PayPal. And uh, I would love to help you in any way. If you want to help make these videos better, you can donate through Patreon. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a wonderful full month, full of abundance.